Hi everyone and welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video I want uh, to uh, talk to you about a new technique. Uh, it is called Pro uh, Prismatic Right Angle Weave. Uh, it is a new technique and you um, can make it with more than four beads. You know that crow uh, is made with uh, four beads, a base of uh, four beads, and you can make pro with more than four beads, five, six, seven, eight, uh, uh, and so on. The only thing uh, you have to consider it is that uh, you have to use two sizes, different sizes of beads. So in this case, I've used um, 8 o beads, golden 8 o beads, and uh, 11 o turquoise beads. So um, to make this technique, you can use two uh, 4 mm fire polished beads and 3 mm fire polished beads. So, uh, so let's start. To make our uh, tubular um, of Pro Prismatic Right Angle Weave, you will need obviously a needle. I'm using a, a size 10 needle and I'm using a monofilament thread because I think uh, it is um, proper, the proper thread for this technique. I don't like uh, the thread between the beads, so uh, you can use uh, this kind of thread or you can try using um, threads like Miyuki or Sono uh, to make a um, tubular with the same, si the same color of thread and beads. So uh, in this case I'm using uh, 0 0.25 millimeters thread but you can use uh, other size too um, I'm showing to you the the tubular in with the very large beads because I want uh, to show you uh, all the steps in the best way and I'm using four millimeters golden uh, fire polished beads and three millimeters emerald fire polished beads so pick up five golden fire polished beads and bring them at the end of the thread then pass again through the first fire polished bead and then into the other fire polished beads and make some knots so pass through the next fire polished bead pick up one 3 mm fire polished bead, one 4 mm fire polished bead and another 3 mm fire polished bead and pass again through the, the same bead. This is the final result. So go on and pass again through the next four millimeter fire polished bead. Pull the thread. Now, as you can see, we have a three millimeter fire polished bead on the left side of the module. So you have to pick up only a three millimeter fire polished bead and a four millimeter fire polished bead. So you have to pass through the uh, uh, the 3 mm fire polished bead we have of the previous sequence and the next fire polished bead of 4 mm. And this is the second module. Repeat this step. So pass through the next 4 mm fire polished bead, pick up a 3 mm emerald fire polished bead and another 4 mm fire polished bead and pass again through the sequence 3 mm and 4 mm too. And again another time pass through the next golden bead pick up another 
emerald bead, another golden bead and pass through the sequence. Now you have to close the tubular so pass through the next golden uh, fire polished bead, the next 3 millimeters emerald bead, close the tubular and pick up a golden 4 mm fire polished bead and pass through the opposite 3 mm fire polished bead. To secure this sequence you have to pass again through the beads. So pass again through the bottom 4 mm golden beads, the right 3 mm bead and now you have to pass again through the whole sequence of beads, the 5 4 mm beads, to close them into a circle and secure them to join them together. So this is the first sequence of pro of our tubular in prismatic right angle weave. To uh, go on with this uh, technique you have to repeat all the steps we have just made. So pick up another sequence of a 3 mm uh, emerald fire polished bead a 4 mm golden fire polished bead and another 3 mm uh, fire polished bead and pass again through the same fire polished bead. Then you have to repeat the same step, pass through the next 4 mm fire polished bead, pick up a 3 mm fire polished bead, a 4 mm golden bead and pass again through the previous 3 mm emerald bead and, and the 4 mm golden um, fire polished beads you have at the base. So you have to go on in this way to make your tubular. Uh, as you can see the result is different uh, if you use uh, um, 4 mm and uh, 3 mm uh, fire polished beads you have a um, larger tubular and you can use it as a um, pandora uh, for your bracelets or your necklaces uh, you can make a lot of things you can uh, play with the colors too uh, if you use uh, um, smaller beads, you can make uh, uh, some bracelets, some necklaces and uh, earrings and whatever you want. So I hope this uh, video tutorial uh, could be helpful for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, if you like it, please thumbs up, share the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye bye.